You've been in Korea too long when? Well, I have been in Korea for one month now and uh, I'm just off to uh, Europe again for a short visit. I've packed my bag here. And uh, so let's see how Koreanized I have become so far. You have a black belt in paper, scissors and stone. Can't say that I know what that is exactly. I mean, I know the play game, but I don't, haven't seen um, many people do it. You've had kimchi stew for breakfast, kimchi fried rice for lunch, kimchi dumplings for dinner, and yet you still reach for the kimchi side dish each time. Well, this is about the traditional uh, Korean dish, uh, which is actually uh, pickled uh, vegetables. And they have it to every meal, and I think I can check this one actually, because I have had a lot of kimchi since I came, came here. A roll of toilet paper on the dinner table no longer faces you. I haven't seen that many uh, rolls of toilet paper on the uh, here. I mean, during dinners here. Um, you catch yourself using Konglish words with your non-Korean friends. Well, Konglish is the way that the Koreans adapt English words uh, and use them as Korean words. So, for example, banana would become panana, and uh, black coffee would be black kopi, and orange juice would be orange juicy. Um, I think that's the way I order things here actually, but I don't think I would use that uh, with my English speaking uh, friends. A motorbike drives up the pavement towards you and instead of jumping aside you refuse to move out of the way on principle. That's a check actually. You've broken up a street fight of drunken businessmen. Check. You hate Japan for no apparent reason. Well, I don't hate Japan, but I know the reasons why some Korean hate Japan actually. You start wearing a surgical mask in winter. No way. You make a midnight munchies run for shrimp, chips and prepackaged kimbap triangles. Mm, can't say that I've done that yet. The loudspeakers on the trucks driving in the neighborhood don't wake you up. I have been working pretty hard since I came here, so I have had no problems with sleeping. You go to a western restaurant and can't seem to use a knife and fork. Well, to be honest, when you eat Korean food, it's actually, I find it actually easier to use the chopsticks. You've purchased something while riding in the subway. Uh, I haven't actually purchased something in the subway, but I have seen that they are actually selling things in the subway. People walking from uh, subway car to subway car and um, showing their things and then people buy things. Uh, you find yourself on toothbrush row in the office toilets after every meal. Well, th I haven't actually done this uh, so far. I, maybe I should, uh, but it's true that uh, I mean all my colleagues they go to uh, the toilet after every meal to brush their teeth. Pretty good habit, I think, and maybe I should adopt it. You stop and stare unbashedly when you see a foreigner, forgetting you're a foreigner too. I guess this is a check actually because. Foreigners are so rare here in Seoul, so when you see one, you just stare. The last one, you've eaten pig's feet, oxtail, dog, silkworms or a live baby octopus. I haven't actually eaten the, any of those things yet, but I know it's true that they eat live squid. So they have, they have live, live squid and they cut off one of their arms, put it into their mouth and it's actually still moving while you're chewing it. I think that this may be my limit. This uh, may be... A, I don't think I will try these things, actually. Um, so, all in all, I think that uh, I have started to uh, adapt to the Korean culture. Uh, but I think also that I have still have a long way to go before I have fully adopted to the Korean way. So, I think I am safe to go back to Europe.